All right, what's going on, everyone? It's a little rough out here, but we're about to catch gag roofers. Got a nice squirrel fish on. Good fish. All right, let's drop this squirrel fish down. Let's see how big of one we can get. Hopefully that wind noise isn't too bad. Alright, I'm on bottom. Should not take long. Already hit. Eight. Alright, just caught a little gag on that squirrel fish. Here's that red grouper, get him in. We still got a perfectly lively squirrel. So we're gonna get him back down. And hopefully a 27, 28 inch gag will hit, maybe bigger. They messed that squirrel fish up right there. Right here we got the gag candy secret method tail hook them. Alright, working it to the bottom. This is a good gag, everyone. Biggest of the day so far. Tail hook method. I'm calling 28 inch here. He's got 28. Oh, he's dogging. Good gag. That's a good one there, dog. The MVP is on him, dude. See, they didn't know about the tail hook method. That's the secret method. Yeah. Now that's what we're after out here. That's a 27 inch gag. Maybe 28, but probably 27. I'll get a quick measurement. 27, 27 on the dot. All right, I'm gonna get him in the box. All right, so Jess got that 27 inch gag. Now, what are we gonna catch now? 30 incher? I think so. It is rough, it's probably two footers, maybe a little bit of threes mixed in. Hopefully that wind noise you can't hear. Oh my gosh. You want a spot too? Sure. Is it good size? Yeah. Keep reeling. All right, DJ's got one on. We are not sure of the size. Sorry for the wind noise. Feel decent? She's staying down, which is good. Reeling them in. Oh. Got him. He still got him. It is crazy how they hit it like that. See how I just I stopped and I reeled as fast as I could. He still got some force to him. 
Safari's right here. Not sure yet. Oh, he's close. So I think he is one. Nice job, DJ. Watch out for the plug, be very careful. Alright, hold him up, DJ. Let's get a measurement, but he's probably 26, 25. There's DJ's gag, a nice one on the trolling plug. Kind of a sketchy spot. 25. 26. 26 inch gag. Right, you could probably play him. Are you tail hooking? No, but. Oh not. my god, he's not tail hooking. No. He's wondering why he's not catching. <laughs> Come on. This is the first, hopefully, it's a gag. Oh, I think she spit. She spit hook. They don't know the method, but I'm going to tail hook it. <laughs> yeah. This is a 33 incher coming up. Cut the plug off the cell and just do like a jig head or something. Uh. There's Maxi Pad. Got a good one. Eat the lizard fish. See. Caught him lacking, boy. Watch out. Oh, my God. On the lizard fish at 27 oh. So what I'm doing is I'm on the bottom. I have the I set it in low gear right away just so they don't get an advantage on me. We all the slack. And I'm in the ready position to fight them. So let's see if we can't get bit. And I have my thumb here just to feel a little tap. And also watching their odd tip. Where did you put it? Uh, in my tackle bag. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I got a good one, boy. Tail hook. Secret tail. Oh. You heard that, Joe? He's telling secret. Secret time. You guys aren't allowed to tail hook. On a grunt? That's, yeah, I was on a grunt tail hook. That is odd. I did like, I chummed in some dead ones. Some live ones. Maybe yeah, that's why. He's, he's not a keeper, but still a decent one. Yeah. It's close. There he is, let's get him back. He's an 80 pound leader, 80 pound braid. No, not, I'm not using braid, I'm using mono. And then an 8 ounce weight. Me and the trike, so we, we bass fish and we got yeah. 80 pound braid only. We're flipping uh, lily pads. Come here, little puppy. Max is getting thumped, bro. Another good one. I don't know, he kind of gave up. It's probably a red grouper. 
Reeling them up. Is that on the custom Shakespeare run? Nah, the dogfish stick. Oh, it's a gag. That could be my keeper. No. Here's another gag. Not bad. 23 inch will be a keeper in like a year or two. What is going on everyone? In the days that we do some shallow water gag grouper fishing. It's early season for it, but in the next few weeks and months, it'll be very good because the water temp's gonna drop and they're gonna get fired up. They're also gonna get fired up in Tampa Bay, so I'm gonna be doing some of that too. But I just got my boat fixed from the mechanic and then something else went wrong with it, so I have to get it fixed again, just with the motor. It's, what is it, a 2008 motor, so just some of the seals are going bad now, so just having to change them out. But hopefully soon the boat will be good for winter season. Gonna get back out there, get back on my weekly video grind. And hopefully we can catch some more gag grouper, mangrove snapper, maybe tuna if we can get some fall tuna fishing in a good weather window. We'll see if that happens. Some kingfish. So make sure to stay tuned.